Charlie, it is May 21st, and I am so thankful that we are finally getting this in. Did you know that May is National Barbecue Month? And you know, when we say the word barbecue, we think of one man and one man only, and that is Dr. Barbecue himself, who now is joined with his executive chef, by the way, Danny DeMarzo. Danny, it's good to see you again. Ray, always a treat. How are the both of you? Hey, girls, good to see you. I've been celebrating National Barbecue Month all month. I don't know where you've been. <laughs> you've been um, celebrating it for years, year. Dr. Barbecue. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. It's pretty much all year for me. It <laughs> absolutely is. And Danny, so Danny is our executive chef, got promoted recently. And so this is how it works. I take all the credit, and Danny does all the work, and she's doing a great job. <laughs> that Congrats, is Danny. <laughs> so, so here's what I got for you today. I figured today, since it's National Barbecue Month, I didn't have to bring any of the vegan stuff. I didn't have to bring any of the, the cool, you know, European international kind of flavors today. No side dishes. It's all about the meats today. So here's what we got. In front of me, this is the pork butt. If I just went like this with this, and I might later, it would turn into pulled pork. And this is our pastrami, which is a big hit around the restaurant. It's a brisket that we cure in-house and turn it into pastrami. We may slice that at some point. This is pork belly. This is a whole big pork belly that we cut in half, and we just smoke it and slice it on the board just like a regular meat. Up front there is some ha chicken halves, chicken thighs. That all gets brined and smoked in the smoker and back. It gets a special treatment, as well as the turkey, which is right next to it. And then way out there is the beef ribs. See those? That's the dinosaur ribs. We cut that I was going to say, look at the size mm. of those bones. Oh, those things are. And we actually take the middle one out and cut that whole mess in half. And you get the half of that whole thing. It's a feast. It's, a, it's definitely for, don't come not hungry and order that. That's a big deal. And, of course, our regular old pork ribs that we have, a huge seller, probably our number two seller. And Danny has our number one seller, the brisket, by far our number one seller. She's going to tell you how we cook it here at Dr. Barbecue. Uh, so we put about 1,500 pounds or so. We can fit that much in Willie back behind us. Um, he came in from Texas, and we smoked for about 20, 24 hours uh, using oak smoke and um, put a little salt and pepper rub on there, let it go, and uh, that's how you get this beautiful bark on there. How do we know when it's done, Danny? Uh, by feel. By it feel. It feels that's right. That's a learned skill. You can't teach somebody that in a couple of days. Over the course of time, Danny's been with us since day one, and uh, they've learned this is the right way to cook barbecue. You feel it because everyone's a little bit different. The thermometer will help you, but touching it is how you really know when it's done. And that smoker back there, Willie, 1,500 pounds of meat, and it only burns wood. There's no assist. If we don't put logs in it, it'll go out, and that's why the food tastes so good. Well, well, I was just going to ask, here we are, you know, getting ready to go into summer. We know a lot of barbecuing is going to be going in. What advice do you have? I mean, what's your kind of go-to in making sure when they're looking to perfect their barbecue, you know, what's your advice? How do you really seal the deal and make it, you know, take it to the next level? Well, simplicity, really, around here, other than the stuff that we brine, we only put salt and pepper on our things. That's it. We don't use any fancy barbecue rub. We don't think it needs it. And to me, the real thing is learning that degree of doneness, the way these guys do it. They touch everything and they feel it. And that's how they know when it's done. And the big deal is patience. If you're going to cook something that takes 12 hours, you better allow 14 hours because you can't do it in exactly 12 and have it on the table. It's barbecue. We always say it's done when it's done. Now, the other thing Danny is doing is slicing this brisket. Show him some of that, Danny. It looks beautiful. But she knows how to do it. The brisket's got two muscles, and they go in different directions, and it's very grainy. And if you slice it against the grain, it's beautiful. If you slice it with the grain, you screw it up, and it won't be that good. So it's tricky, and you'll see her. Now, she'll turn it now and slice it from the other side because she's gotten to that second muscle. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, Everyone's man. different. you got to be looking at it. You know, hey, I, I also see some sauces there. Talk about barbecue. I'm a sauce girl. I like to have a good sauce with it. Uh, what do you got there? Well, I did allow the sauce on the table with the meats today. No, no vegetables or sides, but I did allow <laughs> the sauces because they are part of the barbecue. We've got our three house sauces that we use. We've got a couple others too, but these are the three main ones. This is our sweet sauce, very mainstream. A lot of folks like that. This truly is, we call it Ray's OG it really is my original sauce that I've been working on for 35 years. And I'm not even exaggerating. That's a real thing. And this one here is one a recipe out of one of my old cookbooks. We call it 
Peach Chipotle Triple X. That's the hot one made with peaches and chipotles, which are smoked jalapenos. So we got a nice variety. We got the sweet, the hot, and the original, which is my favorite. Uh, you know what? Danny, before we let favorite? you go, before like we sweet. wrap up our segment, Ray, I'm curious. And Danny, I want to get your thoughts on this one, too. Say we are getting ready to make our lunch plans. We're heading to Dr. Barbecue. Say we have our always our favorite on the menu. What do you guys recommend? Ray, if you're hungry today, what do you get on your menu? Uh, you know, I try to eat the same thing for a week or so, so I don't get tired of everything on the menu. And I get tired <laughs> of the pastrami, and then I move over to the turkey. Those are probably my two favorites. But Danny? the ribs, the ribs are like, you know, ribs is just another level. Everybody is so passionate about ribs. Danny, what's your favorite? Uh, I got to go with the belly. I love the, por uh, the pork belly and the chicken thighs. Turkey's always a really good choice, too. I love it. Got to have the lunch recommendations from the people who know. Again, Ray, Danny, great to see the both of you. People can, of course, see you as well at Dr. Barbecue. There's the location along with the website phone number. Thanks, guys.